What we are doing today is installing an RSH120 rector seal surge protector onto a single phase circuit. We have now removed the cover of the panel, as you can see, and the first thing we're going to do is measure the voltage, make sure that we have the appropriate voltage. Since we have 240 line to line, and we have 120 line to ground, and one line to neutral. So now that we have the appropriate voltage, we need to identify a breaker, and in this case, we have a 30 amp breaker that's taken sitting right here in the panel. So we would then turn this breaker into the off position uh, for that part. And then we need to locate a knockout to be able to go ahead and put in the installed insert. We've got a 30 amp breaker right here. We have a knockout directly across from that. So what we're going to do is knock this out. Okay, now that we have our knockout Hole knocked out. We're going to go ahead and install the surge protector on the panel. You want to make sure you get that lock ring good and tight. Now that the surge protector is installed, we have to get the wiring hooked up. To do this, you want to make sure that you don't have any short, tight bends in your wire. That causes impedance, which doesn't have the surge protector work at its proper capacity. So doing that, what we're going to do first is take the neutral wire and figure out the best way to get it around to the neutral bar, which is over here. And we're going to make sure that we have a nice curved bend there and here. And then get our length and cut the wire. Okay, the ground, which is best to have that as short as possible, and then that's another reason we installed the surge protector on this side, was so we had a very short ground wire, because the shorter the ground wire is, the least impedance that you have. Uh, and we're going to put the ground wire right here. And then your two wires going onto your breaker are just going to be going straight across since we were fortunate enough to find a lug that was in that direction. Now all your wires are cut and then the next step we have to do is do the stripping and landing the wires. Okay, and when we cut our two wires going on the breaker, we cut them fairly short so they were straight across without any bends or turns. And then we land the wires directly onto the breaker. Okay, now that you have your wires landed on your breaker, you're grounded, your neutrals tied together, you now can turn on your breaker and your light should turn green, telling you that the power is on, everything is good. Okay, in the event that you have a flush mount panel application and you cannot get the surge protector to fit inside the panel, because let's face it today, some of the older panels are really full of wire and everything else in the room. We have a flush mount option that RectorSeal came up with so that you can actually take the surge protector and you put a hole in the wall smaller than your flush mount cover and you put a piece of flexible conduit on the end of the wiring after you've got it measured and figured out for me. You put that through your knockout onto your breaker and then you would mount the cover onto the surge protector and then that way the surge protector recesses itself back in the wall, the same as the panel and your surge protector is flush mounted the same as you have your flush mount cover. Okay, we've now finished installing the surge protector and replaced the cover, and there's a few things that we need to go over. Number one, the surge protector has two lights on the front and a button in the middle. The bottom light here is green when the power is on and everything's working fine. As long as that light's green, you know the surge protector is working. If for any reason it was to take a hit and fail, two things would happen. 
Number one, the red light would come on. And number two, the small alarm that would start chirping. And then you have a button to push that would silence the alarm. That's to make you aware that you've got a problem because most people don't go around looking at the light on your search protector. Um, we're the only one out there with an auto alarm and a push to silence button that's selling into the residential market in the RSA 2020. Uh, Rector Seal believes in a high quality type product and we do a combination of an MOV gas tube hybrid, which all and ours are type ones. All uh, the other residential surge protection out there in the marketplace today is a type two uh, and they're MOV on. The biggest difference between the two is that all MOVs, no matter who makes them, have a little bit of leakage every time they take a hit. So eventually they go bad. Ours with the gas tube eliminates the leakage so the MOVs never degrade and they maintain their capacity all the time. And this is very important because Today in all this LED digital market change where lights are burning out or earlier, even though they're saving you money on energy, they're burning out quicker. Your boards are burning up in your all your new appliances because they can't handle the constant transients. That's what the surge protector does, it eliminates those daily transients that aren't enough to take everything out at one time, but just nibbles away. I call it like beach erosion, but it's called electronic rust. It's a tough so by having this installed, you're going to definitely increase the life of all your appliance fixtures and every lights and everything else in the 